everybody, my name is Nick Maxwell with Fataba. Uh, recently released uh, the version 2.0 firmware update for the CGY750. And uh, so last time with uh, 1.3, we did a couple setup and basic tuning videos. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. Uh, version 2 has got a lot of new features and the performance has been increased quite a bit. Uh, so throughout the setup, I'll kind of touch on some of the different features and why they're important to you so that you actually get the benefits of it. Uh, the CGY750 used to be a completely reactive control system uh, waiting for the body to move uh, to, for the gyro to make a correction. But now uh, there's actually a lot of pre-compensations and a lot of thinking forward to make the helicopter fly good. Uh, so it's a key point to actually follow some of these smaller details and uh, that'll really get the model flying well for you. Uh, so first off, uh, we're just going to talk about what's going to have to happen between version, say updating from 1.31 to 1.4 up to 2.0. Um, and basically using the CIU2, you can go ahead and do the update uh, just as you would any other time. And uh, actually you can follow back to the 1.3 videos. Uh, they have a couple in-depth details on how to use the computer and the CIU2 and things like that. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is the gyro will show initial data when you turn it on the first time. Uh, it will save your swash plate settings and all your sub trims and your neutrals, uh, things like that. So you should be good to go. The biggest thing is though, during some of the swash setup, which is what we're going to touch on in this video, uh, is to kind of uh, double check your setup and make sure and there's some new numbers uh, that we want to go over. Uh, regarding transmitter setup, uh, the CGY750 now has uh, condition selection. So uh, you will need to set that up in your transmitter. Uh, using a digital channel, either DG1 or DG2. Uh, what that channel does is there's now two conditions within the 750 and a list of parameters, I think there's 13 or 14 or 15, something like that, um, that you can actually change during flight with, uh, on a switch, on your flight condition, uh, with throttle hold, really with anything. Uh, so in, in the CGY 750, you'll see those show up as C1 and C2 as well. Uh, so we'll kind of touch on that as we get to, get to setting up the gyro. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and set all your dual rates and your gyro gains. Uh, gyro gain, I would suggest just starting at 50 for now. And uh, your dual rates, bump everything back up to 100. Make sure that your collective pitch limit is 100 and 100. And uh, then we should be good to go to go ahead and uh, start working on the swash uh, basic setup and uh, go through some of the, the other numbers. 